Hey there, Tommy Larkin here with Optimal Movement Fitness and Yoga. And today, that back foot as an anchor to extend your standing poses. Welcome back, and as always, thank you so much for joining me. Today's tweak is about the feet, and particularly the back foot in our standing pose, so that we understand from the foundation, which is the hips, how the feet as anchors hold us into the pose, but more importantly, they don't just hold us there and place us on the ground. They're used to extend and lengthen much like a ship that you don't want floating around in the ocean off on its own, you drop an anchor and then it will move with the current to the extent that the anchor holds it in place. And that's what our back foot does and that's what today's tweak is really about. Now I'm gonna use Warrior One, Virabhadrasana Eka or Virabhadrasana One as the pose for demonstration. Now one thing I wanna note is I'm probably gonna show it in a shorter stance than what some of you, if you've worked with me over the years, were, uh, will be used to. And that's because I want to focus on what the action is so you can see it and work out of that extension, right? So this length I'm using is probably closer to a Vini or an Ashtanga practice version. Now, from an Iyengar standpoint or a more traditional Vinyasa flow standpoint, it's gonna be the length of your lunge. And if you practice on Yusara, then you're gonna find that both of those stances are a little bit short because they like to extend those legs to get that nice long arc that comes out of that back foot. So without any further ado, I just want to get into the position and kind of talk through that. That's why this tweak, I wanna just do this tweak that way. Right, so I'm gonna come into a lunge. I'm gonna come shorter so I can really pivot that back heel. And you wanna make sure there's two ways of looking at this, the heel in the center of the arch or the heel and the heels align with each other. It doesn't really matter here. Just don't cross the feet over. Now, most people think you gotta push down in that front foot to lift the chest, and, and you do. That's a physical action that has to happen. But what I've been finding in my practice lately and particularly with a couple of my um, private clients, that that action is good, but they're not getting this back foot. They're getting it rolled or they're turning it in some way or it's shifting on its own. So let's go back and look at that now. So if I just lean back forward towards the lunge position, when you pivot that back heel on the floor, and let me, I'm going to turn this way so you can see. When I pivot that back heel down, you'll notice the heels line up with each other and I'm at a slight angle. I think you can see that here. Here's parallel to the back of the mat. That's going to give you some knee discomfort. You want to turn the toes in about an inch, right? So let me go back this side. You can see here, even as I pivot down, you'll notice my toes are turned in a little bit, right? It's about 15 degrees. Now from here, yes, we want to push down into the floor, but you want to actually get into that back foot. You want to imagine somebody has their hands on the inside of your back leg thigh and they're pulling it back so you can get that pinky toe side of the foot fully grounded. And if you could see the angle from here, I wish I had a camera I could just show you that, I have a little more rise in my arch, right? Now it's not from gripping the toes. The toes are actually free to lift. Now as I press down and get into that pinky toe, I can push into my front foot, move the shin forward, and out of that back foot, extend and lift the chest. So now this back leg is really strong into the floor. As a matter of fact, it's really hard for me to even just bend the knee, even though it kind of wants to. I'm a little tight across that hip, and you may be too. So here, you would straighten the front leg a little bit to really get that back leg. As a matter of fact, you might even come all the way up, get that back leg settled, Work the hips as square as you can to the front of your mat, and then think, bend the knee and press the shin forward, right? Now, ideally, you want the knee to be in line over the ankle. That's the reason why the lunge length is actually the most ideal when you get enough opening in the legs. But the flip side of that is 
you want to press forward and then try to pull the foot up off of the floor. That's going to give you more grounding in that back leg, which allows you to turn the chest for warrior one to extend up into the arms and the pose, right? So there's that full expression there. And that's coming from the strength of this back leg and the anchor into the floor. When you come out, if you came through the lunge, you just lift and re-square, and you would come to standing or down dog or wherever you may be going. So that's the process that I want you to get from today. That back foot is the anchor, right? Now, I will admit that in side angle pose, those of you not familiar with it, I'll get over here and show that. The foot position is the same pattern. I'm just going to show with the elbow on the knee. It's a great place to feel it, right? You're getting that back foot, and as you extend out of the back foot and move forward in that right shin, you get that nice inner thigh stretch, but you can get the extension from that back leg. This is where that anchor really can be felt, but I like it in Warrior One because when you're in that Warrior One, this length creates the torque that gives you the depth to really expand the depth of the pose. Yeah? Good. All right, so there you go. I hope you get so much benefit out of anchoring that back foot in your standing poses that you find new depth and expansion in those poses. Now, if you have a question or a comment about this tweak or any previous one, let me know. Put it in the comment section of the specific tweak and I'll get back to you. If you like this video or any previous one, I'd appreciate you clicking that like button. It really helps me know what material is being best received so I can put a little more focus towards things like that. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can see future videos coming out in advance of the email. And if somebody you think would benefit from this tweak or any previous one, send them a share link or send them the email so they can sign up and get the email directly sent to them to reference the video. Now, one new thing I wanna talk about is our new Ohm Face store that you'll find on our new and redesigned website. I'm really excited about the things that are out there, in particularly not just the logo wear and some of the yoga accessories and clothing that we're making available, but the Live Free and Party On t-shirt series, which will have more designs coming uh, over the next uh, period of time, and our I Need More Space Meditating Astronaut. That one comes in a sweatshirt and a t-shirt variety. So go out and check those out. I'd really appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for joining me, and until next week, have an amazing life and be excellent to each other. <laughs>